Hello everyone, uh, we are at Gamification Europe in Berlin and with me is Kerstin Oberspiller. <laughs> Oberpiller. Oberpiller. Close. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and uh, tell us about your heritage. <laughs> it's fascinating already. So my heritage is German, obviously, Kerstin Oberpiller, um, but I was born in South Africa and now I live in Australia. So very multicultural. <laughs> and that's all this conference is about because it's called uh, Gamification Europe, but you actually flew in all the way from Australia uh, to be here uh, to meet all those amazing people here and experts and also to deliver a, a talk. Um, mm -hmm. So what brings you to this conference? Uh, why would you fly half over through the world? Yeah. Well, I've, uh, I've sort of kept an eye on Gamification Europe over the last few years and I've always really wanted to go, um, but it is quite a long distance and uh, yeah. So, but this year um, Pete invited me to speak and share my PhD research. Yeah. Um, and because it was in Germany as well, I thought, yep, this is the year, got to make the trip. Yeah. 32 hours for the record. 32 hours. Yeah. And what's pretty amazing about Australian gamification is, uh, last year we interviewed Dr. Zak, who has the first uh, PhD in gamification in the world. And <laughs> you probably will be the second person in the world. <laughs> or out of five doctors, there will be two in <laughs> Australia, which is amazing. You guys yeah. have some uh, weak spot for, for gamification. Yep. Okay, and uh, tomorrow your speech uh, will be, or your talk will be on uh, HUT or CHAT? What <laughs> is it? Tell us about it. So CHAT stands for Cultural Historical Activity Theory. Quite a mouthful. Um, essentially, it's um, a way of looking at human activity through um, a, a, like an ecosystem. And okay. so um, what it does is provides us with a model to understand the complexity of the real world in which we're using gamification. All right. In a nutshell. <laughs> yes, and that's the beauty of gamification is that when you try to describe it, it's quite complex and complicated. Yeah. When you experience it, when you're inside, it's very thing is simple. You know what to do, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what uh, what your, what's the applications that you have in mind or you already perhaps applied? Yeah, so um, I used uh, cultural historical activity theory as part of my PhD research that I've recently completed. Um, and so I applied that as a methodology um, with three organizations a school, a restaurant and a government department um, and so I used um, activity theory to measure and map the system beforehand and then mm -hmm. afterwards as well. Um, yeah. Okay and well uh, last but not least I'm already after my talk and you've been so kind to choose uh, this, uh, this uh, talk. Uh, can you mention anything that you remember, remember from, from my speech? What's valuable to you? I'm only, always wondering you know, I know what I want to get across, but what, mm. what stays with you? So what was uh, interesting at all? Uh, well, one of the things I thought was really interesting was about the sort of common reactions that you get, especially from HR people around gamification. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I definitely have experienced those as well. So I definitely, um, it was really nice to know that that's common um, yeah. reactions. Um, and then some, like the four tips that you gave was really useful. Cool. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Because yeah, at Gamification Europe, it's a, more of a gathering of experts rather than anything else and we sort of can share our stories and pat each other on our backs, our experiences. Uh, and yes, some of the misconceptions about uh, gamification are really common. Mm. And uh, we know how great of a tool it is, how powerful it is. Well, Will Jackson today, really uh, uh, amazing stuff. Yeah. And uh, still, uh, some people stick to their own, I don't know, e-learning solutions or other systems mm. that they have, or just not using anything at all. And gamification can be really powerful. So, Absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much, Kristen, uh, for pleasure. talking to us. And we have another day ahead of us. And uh, the, the part of that day will be spent with you on your talk. Thank you very Great. much. Great, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>